Where have all the houses gone? Inventory, it just keeps getting tighter and tighter. And we're gonna talk about that in this week's market report for February 20th, 2023. As always, we're gonna start off and we're gonna take a look at the single family and condo market. We're also gonna talk about interest rates because a lot's happening there. And then we're gonna jump into the luxury home of the week, which is an unbelievable house in Wellesley. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions of the real estate market, then know that I'm here to help. Let's start with the single family market. Inventory, it just continues to drop. There are currently 2,841 single family homes on the market. The amount of more inventory for a buyer to look at is actually now 830 units, which is a big decrease when we compare it to last week. The big takeaway here is that inventory in the single family market, it just keeps on getting tighter and tighter. We had 548 new listings that came on the market this week. Now this is 90 units or about 14% below the amount of new listings that came on the market this week last year. The four week rolling average for new listings things that have come on the market is 577 units. So we're relatively in line with that four week rolling average that we've been seeing. We had 660 homes go under agreement last week. And this is actually a dip from the week beforehand where we had 726 single family houses go under agreement. But we actually put 11 and percent more houses under agreement this week than we did the same week last year. So that's some really big news. Let's do a real quick recap of what we just heard. We listed a lot less houses than we did the same time last year, but then we also put a lot more single family homes under agreement than we did the same time last year. That's the market that we're currently dealing with. And that's even with the increased interest rates. There were 341 single family homes that closed last week for an average sales price of $651,000 and a median sales price of $550,000. And then that months of inventory, months of inventory is how we calculate whether it's a seller's market, equal market or buyer's market. Zero to five months is a seller's market. The closer you are to zero, then the more aggressive of a seller's market that it is. This week's months of inventory increased slightly to 1.17 months compared to last week's 1.16 months. Really, what is this? It just indicates that it's a very, very strong seller's market, which brings us to the first seller's advantage. I know I've mentioned this before. I seem to be mentioning it every single week, and there's a reason why. Ultimately, sellers that are thinking about selling later in the spring right now might be a really great time to put your house on the market because as we heard, inventory is way down. Sales are up up actually beyond last week's numbers, right? It's a really great market. And the big question is, is what will interest rates do? Are they going to continue to go up and actually hamper that long curtailed, you know, strong spring market that we generally get? Because we know what we're dealing with right now. And the market right now is just phenomenal for sellers. We have 1,717 condos on the market. Inventory in the condo market went down by 26 units compared to last week. And when we compare it to 28 days ago, we have about 4% less the amount of condos on the market today than we did back then. But compared to the single family market, inventory in the condo market really has remained relatively flat. So again, when we compare the condo inventory levels today and we compare it to the same time last year, right? We now only have 243 additional condos on the market today for buyers to choose from than compared to the same time last year. I mean, that's just incredible because every single article that we pick up, all it is is talking about the gloom and doom and gloom of the real estate market. And we're just not seeing it in Massachusetts and our inventory levels as well as our sales levels ultimately really do show that. There were 303 newly listed condos that came on the market this week. Now we can compare that to our four week rolling average where we've had 346 condos come on the market per week. But when we compare it to the same week last year, we actually had 376 condos on the market. We had 341 condos go under agreement this week. Now when we look at the four week rolling average, we've had 344 condos go under agreement per week on average, right? But when we compare it to one year ago, where we had 362 condos go under agreement, that means we're about 6% off of last year's pace. Again, when we talk about those doom and gloomers and what they say is going on in the market, I mean, 6% is not the ap apocalypse that all these guys are talking about. Just kind of want to put these numbers in perspective for you. We had 159 condos go under agreement last week for an average sales price of $565,000 and that median sales price of $470,000. And then that months of inventory. Months of inventory for the condo market actually increased to 1.72 months. And this is compared to last week's 1.69 months. Do you like hearing about what's going on in the Massachusetts real estate market? Then can you please do me a huge favor? Can you hit that like button? It just helps me enormously with those YouTube gods. And if you don't mind considering subscribing, that doesn't hurt either. So now on to the interest rate market. The interest rates, eh, they've just continued to go up. And when I look at the 10 year treasury today, they're gonna go up some more. This is our, I hate to say it, but this is our new normal. This is the new interest rate environment, the high sixes that we're gonna have to start getting used to. And we're gonna 
continue to be here in these 6% levels, ultimately until we start getting some economic data that really starts to change the narrative out there. And we really probably won't see this until March at the absolute earliest. Yes, we have some GDP numbers that are coming out next week, but those really shouldn't move the needle all of that much. The pipe dream of a lower interest rate environment that's out the window. Goodbye. This is the new reality. So now here's the two questions. The questions become, number one, are we going to hit 7% and go over that 7% threshold? And number two, if we do, then is that going to really hamper buyer demand? Because so far, we haven't seen these interest rates, these increases in interest rates really hampering the buyer demand. And I ultimately think that's because buyers today, they've kind of gotten used to those higher interest rate levels, which again, by the way, speaking historically, right, these 7%, 6% interest rates, historically speaking, are still very low. I I've said it before, this market, it's fragile. One week, it seems like the sellers really have the upper hand. The other week, interest rates tick up and now it feels like buyers should be soon getting back that upper hand. The point is, is again, it's fragile. It can break either way. When we have such low levels of inventory, it can quickly get to become those high multiple offer situations where you ultimately see prices start jumping very quickly. The market, it is fragile. I just can't say it enough. And now onto the luxury home of the week. This this home in Wellesley is located at 15 Valley Road. It's a six bedroom, eight full bath and two half bath home that spans 10,000 square feet above grade with an additional 3,500 square feet below grade. Now I know opinions, they're like belly buttons and everyone's got one, but this house in my opinion is a showstopper on the outside. It's just stunning. This is an exquisite home that just screams the classic New England estate. Located on over an acre in the Wellesley Farms neighborhood is this stunning, 2012 stone and shingle colonial inside you're going to find gleaming hardwood floors high ceilings and beautiful woodwork large rooms throughout stunning kitchen with top of the line inlay white cabinets and stainless steel appliances now the master bath it's really a suite it's enormous all six bedrooms as a matter of fact are large and spacious i personally drooled a little looking at the laundry room with two sets of laundry equipment then there's the golf simulator to make sure that your game doesn't slip too much in those winter months all of this plus a four car garage and a hot tub built into some of the finest stone patio work that you'd ever lay your eyes on. Now the home, it's being marketed for $10,750,000. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Then all of my information, it's in the description below. You can also reach out to me at youtuberealestateagent.com. Fill out a couple questions, then I'm going to reach out to you. Ultimately, it's all about you. It's your journey. I'm just here to help. I love talking about real estate. So whether you're looking to move in the next nine or 90 days, it doesn't matter. I'd love to chat with you talk to you a little bit and hear about your goals and ultimately see if we can make them a reality. Questions or comments about any of this market data, then drop them in the comments section below. You always take the time to watch the video, so I'm always going to take the time to respond to you. As I always say, an informed person, well, they're a powerful person. So until next time.